So what we tracked was three and a half miles and a 397 foot gain. You shouldn't have tracked eight miles before that. <laughs> it was not eight miles before that. I'm guessing we missed out on a mile, which would put it at four and a half, which is what the trail is supposed to be. That is some extensive logging. I thought the marks were for the one they were taking down. I'm guessing like different colors mean different things. There's red ones, there's blue ones. Chippewa Moraine. The Chippewa Marine State Natural Area is host to the Ice Age Interpretive Center. The center has multiple displays and exhibits on wildlife, cultural, and geological features in the area. Early settlers in the area logged the forest using many lakes to easily transport the fallen trees. Evidence of this, joining lakes is still visible today. I thought it was an island at first. The Ice Age Trail travels through the area with a few backpacking campsites available for reservation. You can also access the Dry Lake Trail Loop and the Circle Trail Loop from the parking area. Signs along these trails point out geological features such as moraines, kettles, and erratics. some extensive logging. I thought the marks were for the one they were taking down. I'm guessing like different colors mean different things. There's red ones, there's blue ones.
track in this one? No. no. The uh, thing says it's a four and a half mile. Yeah, I was just photography wise, the elevation change. <laughs> Well, with a name like Triple Marine. Well, the core of anything, the core of engineers or core civilian just down to the core. It's this way. Rattlesnake Hill Road. I think it's due for another. <laughs> yeah, there's open water right there. <laughs> Why are you creaking it? <laughs> <laughs> it's a four and a half mile loop. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I'm gonna guess we're on like mile three. Oh, my bad. I went with our speed and not the distance. We've now gone two miles. Told you it wasn't eight. We are not. We've met back up with the Ice Age Trail. Open water. Right there. Yep, right under the bridge. Somebody out ice fishing. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna grab lunch and take it out here. You can. Might have to disrobe quite a few in and throw the your puppy on, but yeah. And I was so happy this wasn't going to be frozen. It's not froze. It's gold. Thank you. Damn it. Thought I was going to lose it. dining experiences. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm actually shocked at how many facilities have been open. 
Mm -hmm. like I didn't expect the bathrooms at the little house in the big woods to be <clears throat> open. So what we tracked was three and a half miles and a 397 foot gain. I shouldn't track the eight miles before that. It was not eight miles before that. I'm guessing we missed out on a mile, which would put it at four and a half, which is what the trail was supposed to be. Mm. Getting cold. Due to the fact of copious amounts of perspiration, I was trying to keep up with you, trail running. <laughs> on that eight trail mile, running. On that eight mile jog that we just did. It was not an eight mile jog. It was an average speed of two and a half miles. I thought it would be windier out here. I am so glad it I'm, I'm very happy it's not. I mean, there's parts of the trail where I wished it would have been a little more windy to take care of. That last half of it was like, oh, I should say the last third. <laughs> so the last six miles? The last mile and a half was pretty damn calm. Yeah. When we got on top of some of them hills, it was windy. My ass was cold almost constantly. I had opened up the leg vents. <laughs> I did. I had them open for quite a ways. Yeah. Yeah, what? It was an hour and 23 minutes in a moderate zone. I did not do any vigorous or peak zones as far as my heart rate goes. Your heart rate? You don't have a heart rate. <laughs> Vampires don't have heart rates. Man, that doesn't take long. It was actually semi pliable <laughs> before. Mm hmm. <laughs> Need to get it back in our hotel room. <clears throat> yeah, I'm wash those. What? Why are you judging? I'm <laughs> just trying to figure out. You know, you, you've got the. Like, I can't imagine you on, on like, caffeine. I, like, I understand why you don't do coffee because, like, I'd never be able to keep up with you on the fucking trail. It'd be like a two-year-old on crack. I had this conversation earlier this week already. Did you? With whom? I don't remember. But yet you eat slower than shit. I cannot breathe. I know. Like, no, I don't think you do know, because when I tell you I cannot breathe, it is eat or breathe. I would choose eat. That's <laughs> pretty sure that's what I do. The faster you eat, then, then you can breathe. Makes sense. <clears throat> so, if I can't breathe, how can I walk so fast then? If I'm not breathing. It's a question for yourself. I mean, you, you tell me that I don't breathe, and that's why I get cramps. You do. <laughs> There's video evidence that I breathe the whole hike. <laughs> Sounds like I'm behind you having sex. <laughs> Stop being ridiculous and over dramatic. <laughs> Pretty sure that's how you know I'm still behind you, is because you can just hear me. That's when you turn around and stop, is when you're far enough ahead of me that you can't hear my breathing. <laughs> Thank <clears throat> you.